<sighs> All done. And we just had one mishap where it all fell down. It's that time of the week. <sighs> it looks like cottage cheese coming off your face. <laughs> Welcome Hello. to a new vlog. Hello. I'll just fix, to a new fix my hair as I usually do. Um, it is nice and raining, nice and uh, bleak, and nice and windy again. And it's still supposed to be summer. Getting sick of it now, me. So. I'm still cleaning up the last night's steak splash all over the gas. Yes. Nice and clean though. Very clean. You've done an extremely good job. Thanks, wife. Um, Nick's just um, cleaned up from last night. Um, we had the steak dinner. It was beautiful. Um, Hannah got me this um, home collections catalog from Next when we went to Next yesterday uh, while she was buying something. So I'm going to have a. Oh, yeah, well, I need to go in a backwards. I'm going to no no she's got it for us. Oh, shit. The catalog. I'm going to have a good peruse of that later oh, once that'll I'm ready. Worsting. That'll be worsting ever getting you something like that. So I actually stayed up until after midnight last night. Which is very well, unlikely. Because they can't get a taxi sooner than... than yeah, the taxi would, couldn't come for a, an hour. Don't be trying to make, make out that you did it out of, like, um, stamina. You did it because you have no choice. Yeah. So, I um, can already tell I probably need a nana nap at some point today. You didn't get up till 8 o'clock. That's enough now. It, it is not. It is. So, anyway. Uh, Mike and Hannah are in their Airbnb. They've just had the breakfast. They've let me know. We've not had our breakfast yet because we've been tidying. No, no, it's not Airbnb, it's B&B, isn't it? Yeah, so a traditional B&B. They are heading back today for about five, is it five hours drive? Five and a half hours, something like that. Down to the bottom end of the country. East so, end. Um, they'll be coming back to say goodbye and pick up their stuff. Well, hopefully um, next time they'll be able to stay here. Yeah, hopefully the next time they'll come, the virus will be gone and they'll be able to stay here. It's just... We've got to be careful, but it is a pain in the ass at the moment. I just want it gone now. I mean, they could have stayed. I mean, if they're in their own room, we're just not. Uh, I know you can have people staying, but we're just we being careful. Out. We're being careful. Um, so, we're having some breakfast now before they get here. It's just, everything's a tight. There's about six pairs of your shoes out there. Actually, there's two, and there's one of yours. Well, that's three, then it's half, isn't it? Um, oh. Breakfast. I don't know, but I did, I did make a little purchase yesterday, which I forgot to show, because we've been that busy. I did make a little purchase. Oh, God, I got a Converse a bum bag. I presume they're still called bum bags. I got one, because Mark's got one. No, I didn't. A waist bag. Um, no, I've been thinking about getting one, uh, especially for uh, Snowden, so I can just put all my essentials in there, or however you uh, wear them now to look cool around your back. you still taking another rucksack? Of course I will. So what's the point in buying that? It's an extra one. Are we ready? Almost. I'm just quartering them. Fatty for breakfast. And then after after this. No more fatties. No. We need to really um, watch what we're eating for a couple of days. We need to stop eating for a couple of days after what we've eaten. Right. Hannah and Mark are going home and they've left us some goodies. For his diet. Yeah. So we'll well, have they're to, sugar free. Yeah. We'll portion it out. Yeah. And um, have four at a time. We need a watch party. Yeah. Oh, well, I know it's not we Sunday. I keep thinking party. it's Sunday. So, you ready for the uh, the long journey back down, Hannah? Yeah. Have you had a nice time? Lovely time. Just a shame about the shitty weather. Because I've done so many things. We had a picnic on the beach planned. Mm, we had well, a it is what it is. Before they delivered it, and I found it this morning. <laughs> It is what it is though, we've enjoyed relaxing, no, haven't we, and chilling and watching, we were watching Disney Plus last night. It's been wintry and it's been nice being in the lodge and sitting by the fire and being snowed with yeah. candles. And oh, and Mark's so here as well. <laughs> we watched just... Disney Pixar shorts last night on the recommendation of Hannah and uh, they were quite good. Uh, so these guys are going for their five hour drive back now. And we've got a curtain rail to change. <sighs> Do we have to? Yeah. Right, the guys are heading back down uh, south for their long journey home. And Nick, he's wasting no time whatsoever with getting DIY done. Never delay anything. Every day is best. So, for some reason, after three years, the curtains resting on the floor is, is annoying Nick. It's been annoying me for three years and today's the day we sort it out. Here. Don't put them up too, too much though. I'm going to put them up so they don't touch the floor. Yeah. That's, I need you to tell me exactly how high it needs to go. Is that touching floor? Um, hang on a minute, let me put camera down. Right, one side done. So it's been lifted up maybe about an inch, has it? Well, it's up at that side. It's up at that side, but the curtain's touching in the middle. So either yeah. the pole's bending, but I don't think so, but I think the curtains are just a little bit longer. In the middle. In the middle, but so, they're certainly better than resting yeah. on the carpet like they so do. So pull that one on and we can see the difference now. So this is what's been annoying Nick for three years. 
just one of those things that I'm just... So when you pull it about. on and just leave it like that, they could they just, just trail. The rest and trail. So, so about an inch I've had to raise it, but that now, look, the thing that happen, will happen now is the creases will drop out of the curtain and well, you'll get those yeah, proper true. pleats. Mm. Well, look at the pleats now yeah, compared to no that. no pleats in that at all, is there? Mm. A little bit of DIY. Right. Next and I've set. even managed to hide the holes as well by using the, the paint because they're such small holes um, that it's perfect. Next next one now. Right. Right, on with the next one. That's the height it's going to be. Not secure yet because I've not put the bottom one in, but we need to make sure that the curtain trail is correct. So. I hide it up about an inch. Do you want the curtain back over there? Do you want it back over there? Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah it'll be about right. Once it's ready, about I mean, right, the curtain yeah. obviously fluctuates the height. But Look at the ridiculous. difference now there. Much better. I must admit, it didn't really bother me, but now I've seen it. Ah. Now I've seen the fix. Ah. What? Ah, I've got cramping my shoulder. Ah. The fix just been screwing. I have been screwing. I screw into the wood. All done. Ah. All done. And we just had one mishap where it all fell down. Yeah, what happened was Lee threw the curtain at me when he was drawing it and walked <laughs> off and the whole thing fell down on the floor. Oopsie! I had to take my top off because it was absolutely titty sweating up there. So it's all done now. Three years that's bugged me. I'm still not completely happy with it in the middle where the bowl, where the, the thing bends, but they've got pleats it's for the first time. It's fine, it's fine, it's ah, fine. Bloody hard job. Job well done that. I do love it when I do, when I have a task and I do it and then I can see the result. That has annoyed me every time we've drawn the curtains for years. Um, we're just listening to um, some of our vlog music because it reminds us of Florida. It's absolutely slashing it down. Lee's just updating a thumbnail. We're just gonna have a nice relaxing lodge here today. Catching up with people on Patreon and Discord, which are actually, um, you have some hello to say, haven't you? Well, well you're going to shut you up and then I would have done them, yeah. So, can I give you the camera, please, while I just get my phone? So, well, there we go. We're just going to have a catch up date, as I say. I'm going to make a coffee soon. I'm going to go on the Nintendo Switch. I'm just going to play Oh, some is that games. why you're charging it? I'm just Nick. going to um, read some books. Nick's going to have to find something to do on his own. I'm going to have a nana nap, because I've not had one for three days. Yeah, it's a little bit early for that, though. So, no, it's not. So before we do that, we we'll have some hellos to do. We've got three hellos to do. So hi to Terry Ned. Um, hello to Alison Brown Bauer. And hi to um, Hayley Weaver. Hi guys. So, hi guys. Yes. I think all of them are already on this. Yes, and I'm just um, doing yesterday's thumbnail uh, with Nick in his new super dry top. Oh, I do love that top actually. Me too, just actually. Quality. I think we'll, this week we'll go down to the proper super dry store in Hull and I'll have a. Uh, I'm going to peruse this. Yes, well, I want to peruse of it as well. You can look on the online one, this is mine. I'm going to lay down now, chill on the bed, put a Star Trek on, and flip through the next catalogue. I thought you were chilling. I've just found another little task that's been bugging me. I needed, Ooh, needed to do this. They're all full. We haven't actually emptied these since before we left for lockdown. And as you can see, all the crystals have gone. Oops, I've just snapped that. Never mind. It's always... you in, When people come round and stay, I mean, obviously, they're not staying here, but when you've spent a lot of time with people and they've been in the lodge and stuff, you have a good time while they're here, but you then when, when they them. leave, you you miss them so much more and you don't appreciate how much of a good time you had. It was lovely just chilling and, I mean, obviously the, the weather wasn't what we were expecting, so there was a lot more chilling and eating and drinking, um, but it was just nice. And it well, was just, that was a given anyway, so. It was just nice to feel a little bit more back to normal, um, even though yeah. obviously we, it's frustrating that you know, we're in cars with the masks on and we're sat at opposite ends of any table or on different tables when we're out, but it's just what we've got to do at the moment, isn't it? But it was we're nice. As careful as we could be. Yeah, we were as very as careful as we could be. Um, right, get chilling. I'm going to have a coffee. If anybody's wondering what these are, this is basically, um, it sucks moisture out of the air so you don't need like dehumidifiers and things like that. And it's amazing how full they get. You think, you think the air is dry yeah. and then you have two weeks of this and it's literally like a pint of water that comes out. So I'm off to put these back in and there's another two in another two rooms as well. You just can't rest can you, you can't settle. I like to do things. I like to be busy. Do you want a cup of tea? Um, yeah go on then I will. What are you making? I'm making a making? Wensleydale and chutney sandwich with a fondant. Toasted sandwich. No, it's not toast it's kind of I've defrosted it. Oh I see. With a, um, with a fondant fancy. Where have we got this from? Extra special caramelised onion? Found in cupboard. Brand new <laughs> bottle. We just buy things and don't use them, don't we? I know. Oh, I am peckish now, I must say. No butter left. Mmm, mmm, 
Mm. A bit last sandwich mm. we had for a mm. while. Mm. We need to do a shop, don't we? No Tesco order. Maybe we'll go to Lidl again on Sunday. Tomorrow. On Monday, but even quieter then. Well, I Do you want another cup so. of tea? I want one. No, because I didn't drink last one. <laughs> it's that time of the week. Hello Fresh. I'm so glad this has been delivered. Because no, no, no. once we've checked it off. What? Just cut off let's get cans up. Once we've checked it off, I'm gonna have a snooze. I was up until after midnight this night. Which means I need a snooze. So what delights have we got this week? Let's Best have a look. One. Give them all in and I'll have a quick look. I'll get them all out. So we have roasted butternut squash curry, Mexican style beef. Looks a bit boring. A bit like you, I've got half of you. Mm. Sweet potato cottage pie, garam, oh, garam masala. Garam? Well, you, no, it's, I didn't realise it were two words, garam masala. What, the space Chris between it, not give it away? <sighs> Crispy chicken and Bombay potatoes. That looks beautiful. Uh, oh, garam masala, crispy chicken and Bombay potatoes, another one. Well, everyone, thank God too. And beetroot, green bean and orange salad. That's not like you to order a salad. Oh, that's the one, that's that salad that you made that was really, really nice. So, um, let's check this off, shall we? Any, We've had any free bits? Since we got back to the bits? Ooh, what's that? Ever since we got back to the lodge, it's been flawless, the, um, yeah, that's the deliveries. Sure. Maybe it's because we're not putting it on the floor. Maybe. We'll give it a go this week then, shall we? Right, let's check it off. Right, we've checked it all off. We are actually missing a couple of things. Some finely chopped tomatoes and some cheddar cheese. Oh, I found the cheese. Where were it? In the bottom with the ice. What about the finely chopped tomato? No. Were so it cheddar tomatoes missing? Well, I think we've probably got some of them in, in cupboard, so we're all right. Right then. Right then. Well, let me just make sure we are, because if not, that meal's no good. Right then. Just wait. Just wait. Well, we'll get some if we haven't. Yeah, we are. We've got some. Good. I'm going to have a little tidy up and then I'm going to have a little snooze. Right, well then. Right. I'm going to try this before we this have This better tea. be good for cost. So, it's, Are you going to do uh, me and I'll do you? Uh, no. I don't you want are. to do you. No, you can no, do it. You I'll... cannot do it with that mirror. Will you shut up while I'm speaking? Get, off, get off. off. Get off. So, it says... Apply to a cleanse dry skin, which I've just done. Will you get this camera off me so I can do it? How do you get the cap off? Come here and I'll show you. Get this. And then it says two pumps. Where's your tissue to wipe it all up? Well, I'm just going to go and wash. Would you wash it off then? No idea. You don't say. <sighs> You're supposed to be looking. It didn't say on the instructions. It said put two blobs on your face. Rub it until it until it globs. Well, of course you wash it off. You're not going to leave it on forever, are you? Uh, right, let's have a look then. How'd you get it open? No idea, I was trying to figure that out. Let's have a look. You want to give me it back? Open. What? Eh? Stop. Open. Just give it back. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You. There we go. So, this is the, the Body Shop Vitamin C, C Glow Reveal and Liquid Peel. It's not sponsored, we just... Um, we it. just wasted £15 on it. Two block. Whoa, bloody hell. Right, rub that all over your face. For 20 seconds until it all blobs and clobs. Oh, keep away from your eyes as well. Ooh. You're so full of shit. I can feel it. You're like, oh, oh. <laughs> You're not doing your forehead? What? What's all this white stuff? Is that on my skin coming off? No, is it hell your skin coming off? I'm sure that's what it makes you to believe. That's all the chemicals that are like exfoliating your skin. But that can't be skin coming off. Oh, why not? Because it can't be. I need a bit more from my forehead. Well, you have got a big head. Why don't you just be nice? I'm being perfectly oh. nice. I'm just being factual. Oh. Is this what happens then? <laughs> you're, you're dropping bits. I'll have to vacuum it up. Once you've trod them into carpet, ooh. The, the it looks like. Cottage cheese coming off your face. <laughs> You're dropping them everywhere. Maybe you should have done this in sync. As long as some spots disappeared forever. Well, some spots might have disappeared, but you're full of crumbs and lumps. Yeah. Let me go and wash it off. Yeah, now. best dad. Do it in, in... I'll do it in the I'll do it in the bathroom. bathroom. Come on then. Right, get it scrubbed off. And tell me whether you feel younger. Oh my goodness. You need to get those grey hairs sorted out because that ain't young. 
What's the water? There's all this white stuff all the time. It's the chemicals and the exfoliation and stuff, all the crap. No. Right, it's Nick's right. now. He's lumping before I've even got it on my face. It's your skin, it's Is taking it, it off. My skin. my skin don't come off that quick, it's the chemical, whatever's in it. Ew. What? <laughs> it's like copydex when you get copydex on you. How much have you put on that much? I just put one blob on for my forehead. I'm just going to put like a little smidge here. It can't be skin. Not possible. Let me just put a little bit here. See, the minute I put it on I can feel like lumps rolling under my finger. I think you're supposed to do it two to three like, times a week it says. You're not putting a lot on, you need to put some, a couple of big right, I'll put right, blob on. And, and... Oh, it smells of orange. I'm gonna need more than that. If I've got a scabby face, <laughs> the more I put on, the more I'll get off. Mmm. Ooh, look at your ear. Turn around, let's have a look. Peeling off. Mmm. Does it feel nice? Mm-mm. I hate potions and lotions on my face. Mmm. I'm gonna have to read my eyes now, aren't I? Nobody's coming, it doesn't matter. I matter, and the vlog don't want to see some bloody, bloody raccoons on my friggin' eyes. Ooh, it's all come off now, it's all like... Ooh. <laughs> Ew, that's friggin' gross. All your skin's in sync. Well... Well, that's after yours. <laughs> You absolute scrap bag. Right, get it washed off. Chicken is... That's us. Me beauty, you beast. You're a pissing beast. Um, the chicken is bubbling away, as I was about to just say. We're having green style chicken curry tonight, which is actually from last week. We froze the chicken, because we knew well, Hannah and Mark were here. The chicken that we had went off, so we had to be and use um, some stuff that we had in the freezer. Yeah, some muscle foods. Um, Chicken, which is very nice and lean, isn't it? All the meats are really lean. Yeah. So, let me have a look at your face. So, if you do want to order from Muscle Foods, there's a link in the description below. Yeah, we've you really get, enjoyed the, the you meat. You get £5 off when you spend 30 It, it was amazing, like last night. It's basically when, an online butcher, isn't it? I, I bought the rump steak from Marks and Spencer's, and I love Marks and Spencer's food, but it was a bit chewy and audible, wasn't it? It had a really? massive clot of fat, whereas the Muscle Food was just literally, it was lean. dribbling with blood, it was pink. Let me have a look at your face. Nice. Let me have a look at your face. Get into life. Don't get me bags. Let me have a look at your face. It's, it's not really done up, to be honest. Mm. You've got stuck in it. <laughs> You've got to do it two to three times a week anyway, I think. I'm be old. careful not to splash the gas because I cleaned it this morning. Well, yeah, it does. I think it's already come out. It better not be. I'm all of a sudden ravenous. Mmm, I am. So I might. Um, have something other than this pepper, just to put me on. Can you just take the lid off the pot for me? Oh, oh, oh. Eh? Oh, I need to get stuff in it. Don't be splashing, don't be splashing. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Right, lid back on. There's a little bit there too. Lid back on. Put that in. You're getting the wood stuff off the floor, has it well, been 10 seconds? 10 seconds, Moment, yeah. Almost done, almost ready. Yep, can you just put the microwave on for two minutes? I was just going to say, do we have some rice or something? Yeah, you just start it, it's already in there, just stick it on for two minutes. So, I'm actually probably going to put a little bit of um, Thai green curry powder in, which we've had in the cupboard, just to give it a bit more of a kick. There didn't seem to be much curry paste in it. Well, mix it about then, I want to see it mixed. Wait. I like seeing things mixed. Wait. I'm still zesting this lime, which you're not supposed to do either, but I've decided I'm going to do. Because I like, I like it to taste limey and coconutty. If I could be bothered, I would actually put some ginger in as well, but I thought about that to a later stage. Mix it all. Right, hold on. Ooh, that smells delicious. Not sure about the um, soy sauce. Soy sauce? Is it not ketchup mayonnaise? No, soy sauce. It, I just don't know about well, the soy sauce, it's you, just brown. You know what happened the last time I did that curry? It looked all bland, but it was the most delicious meal I've ever had no, from HelloFresh. No, I know it wasn't this one. I'm it wasn't the HelloFresh one. 
It was. It wasn't because it had sugar snap peas. It, it was beans. Hello Fresh. Well, this is not the same because this hasn't got the sugar snap. Just get it on plate. Right. It's some hours later. I've been. We have played on the Switch. We have been watching our fireplace on YouTube because it's nice and relaxing. And when the weather is so crappy outside like this, <sighs> it's very wintry feeling, isn't it? When you can just like. Relax on the sofa. We've got the heating on. We've got the fireplace on the TV. It's very very relaxing You know what I fancy? More food? A bowl of bran flakes. Oh no. We've just eaten a bag of um, Haribo Tangtastics mm. which uh, Mark and Hannah left. Mark and Hannah's fault for leaving them when we've just devoured them in one sitting. Yeah, what they didn't realize is this morning before they came, before they came and picked up their their stuff is we actually put all the junk food back in their bag <laughs> but when they, they got here out. they took it all out again so we managed to sneak a few things under the fence, didn't we, that they didn't notice. So... And, let me just show you this. Hannah bought something from Next. It was £5, and she left it in our car and she forgot about it, bless her. So she said we can uh, keep it at the lodge. And, she's um, named it. She's named it Chris the Cactus, because it looks like Chris's hair. Uh, Hannah and Mark also not Chris. Well, once you kill it, it'll certainly go all um, grey. When do I need to water it? You don't water a cactus. I'm sure you water it at some point. Not w within a day of getting it. Right. Oh. Like months and months apart, you, wa you, you water it. Where are you going? I'm going to have a bowl of bran flakes. Do hmm. you want anything while stung in the kitchen? I do, but I, I, I don't at the same time. Well, don't then. Don't have it for the sake of it. I'm not hungry, but well, I, don't I could eat something really nice, but I don't know what. I'm not getting you if you're not hungry. Can I decide whether to have a glass of red wine or not? Or... Oh, for freak's sakes. What? Next you'll be like, I couldn't sleep last night because I had heart burn. No. I keep looking at my curtains and I'm so impressed with them now. They look like they've got proper hang on them. Anyway, campus tips that. Right, what are we doing now? Are we going to watch something or are we just going to sit and chill? Um, sit and chill and I might watch another episode of the Umbrella Academy. She's no. Episode five. Maybe. I'm just chatting with Hannah. Um, she's feeling a little bit down because we had, you can always tell when you had a good time because when people that you've spent some time with are then gone, it's when that saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder comes from, it's like you've got you to someone's company and then they're not there that you feel like there's something missing and it also says to me that we obviously had a good time and they had a good time if they're feeling the same. It's like when we got, when we have like, when Chris and Jen come at, in Vlogmas, isn't it, when they went, we were like, we didn't know what to do with ourselves for a few days. It's like when the family comes, when the girls come and see Yeah, it is. We're, well, we're with the kids, them. I'm kind of glad they're gone, <laughs> to be when honest. They're gone, we're, we're like, oh my god, they're in the head thing, and then when they leave, it's like, oh, it's so quiet. I, I won't go that far. <laughs> Not with kids. I mean, three days is enough to go, like, so right, that's it, that's it. When the kids come. Mmm, 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 mmm. Grunching. I'm just going to close the newly done curve. Oh, let me film it. Look at this, look at this. They don't drag on the floor anymore. They're just perfect height. They've got the pleats. Oh, so, um, elegantly. Now. They just look, I mean, no, they just gathered on the floor. Nobody would really notice in the vlog, but it's really sort of ground my tits for the last three years. But anyway, it's fixed now. Fixed. It's the next morning. We're getting back into that habit of not finishing the vlog on a night. I told you. Oh. We're doing something important today. Are we? Well, we need to. What? I'm bored. So, I'm bored yet. By, by, by important, you mean something different than sitting in the lodge all day. Wow. Well, I mean, I've put two pounds on it all. Ew. Which, to be honest, is not not that bad. Didn't yeah. Not yeah. bad at all, actually. Well, seeing as we didn't bother to think about getting a Tesco delivery. I know we've got one for Wednesday night, but we could always cancel that and go into Driffield. Go into Driffield and go into that little again. I don't know all that. And with it being Sunday, it would be quite quiet. And we could have a... Um... <gasps> Tiffin. No. Yeah. You've just said you've put £2 no, no, no. on. Yeah, but the last time I had one of them, I lost weight. It's an omen. Maybe we'll do that then. Ooh. Thanks for watching today guys, hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and you will become a lodger. And... Uh, I have something to say. Have you? I absolutely ache everywhere. From putting the um, curtains my, up. My shoulder blade, right there, because I have to, because the, the ladders aren't high enough to get up to the screw, I was putting all my weight onto my shoulder blade, so that's killing me. 
And then last night on Discord, in the um, in one of the rooms, we were ta we were chatting about a taboo subject, and everybody, and I mean everybody, was crying with laughter. People couldn't type because people were laughing that much. We do have a laugh on our Patreon Discord. Um, so thanks for watching today, wow, guys. Really, I must have to take me an We'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog. Bye.